Yes, I'm Gary Dick coming to you this week from uh, just north of Indianapolis, Carmel and the Carmel Chris Kindle Market. This is a very popular open air holiday market which depicts the old world traditions of Christmas in Germany. It was founded as a nonprofit organization six years ago and has grown into one of the most popular Christmas markets in the entire country. The holiday market has attracted well over one million visitors since its inception and was just voted best holiday market in USA Today's 10 best competition for a fourth time. Last year, the Carmel Chris Kindle market generated more than $6 million in sales, a 25% increase from the previous year. And organizers say sales this year on pace to top that. To have the market as a place for people to meet their neighbors, meet their family and friends, um, really fulfilled a need that the community had during the winter months. So it's been wonderful to watch everybody embrace it. Joining me now is the, the brainchild behind the Chris Kindle market. Carmel Mayor Jim Brainerd and Mayor, thanks for joining us. It's uh, great to be with you. Well, and you are uh, about to leave office after 28 years. And I think this Chris Kindle market, this concept and what this has become representative of a lot of change in Carmel. How did this start? It was a trip you took to Germany, right, that kind of sparked this? It was early in December, and I was in several cities speaking uh, on behalf of the United States and Carmel. And every time I went to a new city or town, they took me to the Chris Kindle Mark. I suddenly occurred to me, I think, this would be a fun thing to do here. We've always, you know, we have great summer events and festivals, but yet uh, not a lot to do in the winter. We are very close to the Palladium, the Carmel Arts District. Uh, major investments, and at the time those happened, not everybody was on board. There was some controversy involved in that. Talk about creating that, what you felt as uh, was the importance of doing that, of, of creating and investing in those kinds of projects. Well, many suburbs in the United States don't have centers. They don't have downtowns. They don't have places where people from all different backgrounds can come together and get to know each other. And we wanted a downtown here in Carmel. And the people who lived in Carmel told me they wanted a downtown. The question is, what's the draw to that downtown? So we. Indianapolis had invested very successfully in a lot of amateur and professional sports. We chose to invest in the arts, yeah. uh, and the Palladium is, you know, one of the world's great concert halls, and our theaters and cabaret at, at uh, Hotel Feinstein's Cabaret, Hotel Carmichael, all make part of this entertainment campus here in the middle of our new downtown. It's worked out very well for us. Americans in the Arts just did a study, uh, a national organization that showed that. Uh, our investment in the arts last year had a $41 million impact. What role, in your view, has this creation of a downtown uh, and arts district played in terms of attracting and expanding the corporate base uh, and economic development projects here in, in Carmel? We have 150 corporate headquarters in Carmel, and those corporations need to hire the best and brightest and smartest people from all over the globe. And, and so by investing in quality of life, by investing in a beautiful downtown, it supports those corporations. It, it helps them create good jobs. Uh, you, know, you know, if they can't get the person they want to locate in central Indiana, they're certainly not going to expand here. And they may choose to leave and move their headquarters somewhere else. Yep. It's vitally important that we make certain this is a great place to live. People today, especially with the workforce shortage that we have, have choices where they live their lives or raise their families and, and choose to work. And so we have to focus on making this a beautiful, safe, uh, fun place to be. Legacy, as you look back uh, on your 28 years in office, about to leave here in a, a matter of weeks, what do you, do you think will be your, your, your lasting legacy? Well, I think a downtown. Uh, Carmel did not have a downtown like many U.S. suburbs. When we started today, we had this beautiful, walkable downtown uh, where somebody can leave their house, uh, walk to a restaurant, walk to a store. We have places that people from all the different backgrounds that live in Carmel and in this country, it, it's so important that we have places that they can gather together and get to know each other. Carmel Mayor Jim Brainerd, thank you for joining us. Really thank appreciate you. it, uh, and good luck. Uh, what is next? What uh, any any uh, breaking news you can give us? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Okay. I'll, All right. That'll be. I'll talk about that in January.